Welcome to another episode of Sailing Kuru. If you're new here, please subscribe. This channel is all about getting to places by boat and explore things we've never seen before. It's the story of two gypsy souls who had enough of the corporate life and set out to sail around the world, starting in their own backyard, the Mediterranean. We had no sailing experience, but are big believers in learning by doing. If you want to learn how to sail, go sailing. We left Mohan Harbor and set sail for Ciutadela. With our friend Sibyl on board, we took it slow and made two short stops. The first being Binibeka, a bright white fishing village that reminds us of Santorini in Greece, which we have seen only on pictures so far. Hey babe, mm -hmm. what's your thought of the day? Um, um, I think <laughs> <laughs> it was an exciting day. We had very good winds to sail here and it's a nice anchorage. We had uh, some dinner, I could go to sleep right away because I'm so stuffed. And now we are going ashore to check out the little fisherman's village nearby, so yeah. Binibeka Vel was allegedly built in 1972 by a famous architect as a tourist attraction. To be honest, it felt a little bit artificial, however, it was lovely to stroll around and enjoy the stunning sunset vibes. Where are we going? Uh, to the little fisher village. village bi bi Binibeka. 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 And uh, yeah, go check it out. This, the, 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 the lighting is beautiful at, at the moment. I really love it, like with the the greens and the greys and the browns it's beautiful i think it looks a, a little bit made but it looks huge so we go and have a look at it yeah, maybe we, we maybe we even find this little supermarket to buy some yeah. beers <laughs> We are on the road for over five months, but we still are very impatient when it comes to sitting in a restaurant, paying a lot of money for a beer, and but have to wait for like half an hour and nobody comes and shows up to take your order. So we left and went to a supermarket where we paid for the beer like 90 cents. So all good. And look at the view. The sunset tonight was so gorgeous, absolutely. I mean, check this out. The light is like for, for an hour, it changes every few minutes and it looks so beautiful. Which one is Koro? The one with the anchor light on. <laughs> so we just decided to throw in another barbecue session on the <laughs> boat. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so um, we anchored um, in Galason Saura last night and it's dead calm, it was beautiful, um, restful night for a change, no swell, no nothing, no wind, um, it was really super super relaxed. Um, so right now we're heading north about seven and a half, eight nautical miles to Ciutadela, well it's a gala just just south of Ciutadela called Cala Blanca. We have been there before and uh, we're gonna have to uh, uh, put some landlines out which we haven't done a lot but we're comfortable <laughs> uh, that we can do it. 
and maybe we even get Sybil to film it. That would be awesome. <laughs> Sunday uh, around 10 a.m. and we are heading towards Ciutadella. Sibyl is at the helm. It's really cool when somebody comes here and never really sailed before and uh, takes over the helm. So relaxing for Fu and I and I just uploaded my new blog and so it's all about Sunday and fun day I'd say because we have nothing to do we will arrive in like one hour and then just spend the day sunbathing, relaxing and of course go diving. So for the first time alone we're going to put up, um, we're going to set up a stern line uh, in Cala Blanca. We, we did it once before with my cousin but um, it, I mean, this is the first time we're going to do it uh, all by ourselves. And uh, Sybil's going to film a little bit. And I like the fact that we're going to have some footage of ourselves doing stuff. Because we never ever have this. It's always like either Rio or, or me. So this is pretty cool. I'm very excited, but everything's going to go fine. We're prepared. We have our lines prepared in the back. Bingy is ready. Uh, there's not too much wind. So the spirits are high. <laughs> It's quite common in the Met to anchor your boat stern to against rocks or trees in a narrow bay. It gives a bit more space for boats to moor right next to each other. You basically drop anchor in the center of the bay and reverse up to the shore as close as possible or you're comfortable with. Jump into the dinghy with the stern line and if available a few feet of chain to make fast on the sharp rocks of the iron shore. Pull tight the anchor without damaging the windlass and voila, you're moored. my second shirt today <laughs> and it's morning as I said <laughs> Ciutadella is a beautiful town, very rich in history, with a beautiful harbor to stroll around, bars, cafes, restaurants and street vendors all over town. Absolutely worth an extended visit. Questions please? Yeah. Interviews? Oh, you said so you want to interview us. <laughs> I'm very sorry. So, um, how are you feeling right now? It's hot. It's hot, but we had great lunch, so happy. We had the uh, mejillones, like mussels. It's salad. some great, great um, salt. What is it? Salt seasoning. Salt. <laughs> Secret one. 
Yeah, he didn't want to tell us what's uh, what's the ingredient, like the secret ingredient, because he's afraid that we're going to open up a restaurant and sell mejillones and uh, yeah, so. Okay, it's just too hot for this, so we went back to the boat. We just came back from Ciutadella and it was so blazing hot so um, we deserve a little cool down and uh, we're going to do that on our bar which we have on Koru which looks like this. Cheers! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! This, that's why we have a catamaran we can jam our board underneath it and use it as a bar. Sweetness. What's this babe? We are having Bloody Marys for breakfast. Why, why are we having Bloody Marys for breakfast? Because it's um, Sibyl's last vacation day so we have to start and go down in style. And we are having pancakes. So this is take two, because when I asked her first why we're having Bloody Mary, she said Tuesday. 